Have you ever seen the Big Dipper up in the sky? This is the Cheyenne story of how it came to be. There was once a girl known for her handiwork. She made beautiful embroidery decorated with porcupine quills. The people in her village knew her as Quillwork Girl. Quillwork Girl had no brothers and no suitors. So everyone was surprised when, out of the blue, she started making clothing for a man. It took her a whole month to sew and decorate the outfit, and when she was done, it was magnificent. But Quillwork Girl wasn't finished. She sewed and embroidered six more sets of clothing, including one small outfit for a boy. What are you planning to do with these clothes, her mother asked. Quillwork Girl told her that she was going to live far away with seven brothers. Don't be sad, she said. One day you will see me again with my brothers, and you will be very proud. So the girl packed up the clothing and left her village in search of her new life. Finally, she came to a river. On the other side, she saw a little boy. I've been waiting for you, said the boy. You are going to be my sister. The little boy loved his new clothes and his new sister. I have six older brothers, he told her. And when they come home from hunting, they are going to be very pleased to see you. Just as the little brother predicted, the brothers were overjoyed with their new sister. The clothes she had made for them and the delicious dinner she cooked. They all lived together happily until one day a bison calf appeared at the teepee. We've heard about the wonderful new sister who has come to live with you, he said. And we want her for ourselves. The little brother said no and told the bison to leave. Bigger and bigger bison came with the same request, but the little brother turned them all down. We will never give our sister away, he said. Then one day, they heard a thunderous sound of birds. Old bull, the biggest and fiercest bison of all, was on his way. Do something, he put the little bedroom in the brother. He pulled out his bow and shot him down into a nearby tree. The tree began to roll toward the sky, and the girl and her seven brothers jumped into its branches just in time. But old bull was very strong. He butted his big head against the tree, and the tree began to sway. Little brother shot another arrow into the tree, and it grew even higher. Just as the tree began to fall, Quillwork Girl and her brothers jumped from the branches into the sky and became stars. They are still there today. Close to one of the big stars is a tiny star. That's the little brother and his beloved sister walking hand in hand. Yep.